Today I'm going to be doing a quick comparison between real AR500 steel and some Chinese AR500 steel. So these are the two plates. Um, this is supposedly AR500 steel, 3 8 inch thick. I picked this up off of a website with link in the description below. I do not recommend you buy it, as you'll see in the video. Um, and then this is some AR500 steel that I picked up from the Sportsman's Warehouse. And I know this is AR500 steel. And we're going to go see how they both compare when shot at uh, with an AR15. So I set up both the targets up here. Um, here out at the range and the regular paddle I have placed on my dueling tree and I'll just shoot it like normal um, and then the other AR 500 paddle I've just placed up here on a rock and I'll shoot it there so if you think about it I've actually given the the Chinese AR 500 steel AR 500 steel um, an advantage because a lot of the bullets energy will be sprayed off out there as it flips around um, whereas the the actual AR500 steel plate, um, it won't be able to bounce back at all. So all that energy will be able to go into it. Now I've placed it barely at an angle. So yeah, maybe a little bit, but it's no more at an angle than this is slanted sideways either. So let's see what happens. So some people came up and they wanted to shoot. I didn't feel like talking to a square box uh, while they were shooting. One for the noise, two for it's really awkward talking to a camera in front of people. Anyway, so this is what happened to the steel plates. So this is the AR500 steel plate. I mean, practically nothing. I mean, it's almost perfectly smooth. I might be able to feel a little bit, but man, that thing's smooth, perfect. And this is the AR500 steel plate huge pockets i shot this one four times just because you know it didn't fall over uh i mean this is that's exactly what happens to my old steel when you shoot it so yeah um and in most of my conversations with the company they actually didn't claim that it was ar500 steel but i do have one email that'll show right here where they say yep it is ar500 steel and i was like no it's not They're like yes it is I'm like nope definitely not i need to see the chinese people like yeah it, ar500 yes ar500 plate <laughs> but no it is not ar500 steel so this is actually a big chunk of mild steel that i have lying around it's one inch thick i picked it up out of a scrap yard for cheap i figured i'd shoot it anyway you know, knowing it's mild steel you have to shoot it from like a huge distance though so i can never shoot at this with handguns unless i want to die because it'll literally throw lead back at me um but if you shoot it at 150 yards then it's not a problem um but you can see like this, this is mild steel so this is what it does to mild steel it looks just like that ar500 ar500 steel plate in air quotes the from china so yep it is definitely mild steel and for a dueling tree target it is completely worthless so luckily i was actually able to get my money back from them thank heavens i i i've i talked to them tried to get a return it they said no submitted them the the website they said no so then i fought it with paypal and they gave me a return address in china so the shipping for a set of these is like 85 bucks international because it's heavy and kind of bulky so i reached out to paypal paypal said hey we can't control where the shipping return address of our our customers our sellers are so at the end of the day they didn't want me to return it but i was able to return it and get my money back thank heavens because this stuff like i can't shoot this with a pistol now because it'll kill me and so this is just nice scrap metal now so if you ever want to shoot steel with a rifle, make sure you get the right type of steel, AR-500 steel. It'll cost a little bit more, but it's well worth it. Hope that was informative. Thanks for watching.